I simply cannot believe that there are truly still people who will forfeit their lives merely to see a dragon in the flesh. You're quite articulate for such a bulky monster. I haven't just come to see you. I rather had something more radical in mind, I'm afraid. You do not mean to say that you wish to challenge me? Ha ha ha! I shall break your scrawny neck. Not so fast, my friend. I carry the Eye of Innes with me. You cannot resist my will. Answer my questions or the agony will be unbearable for you. Ah! Then pose your ridiculous questions while you still can. Your power will not last long. Who are you? My name is Fiamathar, and that is all you will learn about me. Once I can escape the spell of the Eye, you will go up in flames. Every dragon has a hoard where he stores his collected treasures. So where's your hoard? In a place that will be inaccessible to you. Once I am finally free of the chains of the eye, I keep my treasure high up on the hot cliffs, which should be all but impossible to reach for a wingless human such as you. Servant of evil, what made you appear here? Have you only come to spread terror and panic? The higher meaning of our Congress in this world, little human, will remain hidden to you. What in the name of Innes must I do to ban you once again from the realms of humankind? <laughs> Before you can act, you must first understand the meaning of our Congress. However, no one will disclose that to you of his own free will. The eye alone could loosen our tongues and reveal to you our true goals. In any case, it will be of no use to you when you are dead. The eye has granted you access. However, single combat alone will decide whether you are worthy of me. How can I get the other dragons to talk? Only my heart could help you to renew the power of the eye, but you will not succeed in snatching away my heart. The eye has lost its power and you will not survive the next day. Thank you.